Hello Capricorn, this is your mid-October 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Capricorn individuals, so keep that in mind. Maybe the story will continue from the last reading, or we may get a completely different energy. This is for Capricorn, mid-October 2018 Capricorn. Mid-October 2018 Capricorn. I do shuffle these prior and meditate them on your cards and your sign. It is a reading for the masses, a general reading for the population. The energy is coming in. The sun, happiness, thing, uh, life is shining bright in the coming in energy of mid-October. Something may make you happy. Or luck just may shine on you in itself, too. The universe in, in itself as a whole. In the past, you may be dealing with yourself in reverse, the Princess of Disc, or another Capricorn, Virgo Taurus, or someone using that energy. No, it doesn't have to be an Earth energy. Just someone taking on that energy. We all have Earth somewhere in our chart. It's just dominant in yours. Now, the Princess of Dis is in reverse. Let's find out why. Princess of Dis, why are you in reverse in the past for Capricorn? Because there was supposed to be a collaboration of some sort that was coming in. Some kind of thing, something was coming in that was positive that had, or you thought was coming in, that you thought was positive. Or negative things leaving. Can I get another? Anyway, let me let me get another. Let me shuffle a little bit. Princess of Disc, Three of Wands. Why are you there in the past for Capricorn? You are wanting happiness. You thought something was coming in, but you're still turned around. It could it be that you're just not accepting anything positive, or could it be that you thought someone something coming in was positive and it turned out to be a dud? Ah, you can find, let, let me find out more. Let me find out what the obstacle is. The obstacle is right here. And you're dealing with the Prince of Swords. It could be just that you're dealing with someone that is negative and it's making you feel negative or they're argumentative or you feel that they're being unfair or they feel that you're being unfair and it's got you both turned around. Let me see. The Prince of Swords in reverse could be an air energy. Someone taking on an energy. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Why are you there? Prince, Princess of Swords in reverse. They're not fun when they're in reverse, so... They want to come out of this cruel situation with you, but they're having trouble. This is an obstacle. It's your obstacle. Because there could be more than one person. We did have that Three of Wands. we got passionate energy there. It's in the upright, so it's definitely... Got to do with heartbreak, possibly a third party, not necessarily, but definitely heartbreak. The kind that makes your heart bleed out, heartbreak. And there was cruelty involved, and it has to do with more than one person for sure. I about guarantee it. Now, the current environment or the near future is right here. We're not in mid-October, so magician, manifestation, in the upright. When it's in the upright, as you know, I do read reversals most of the time. But when it's in the upright, it's a good card, the magician, when I read them. Someone who knows how to manifest something, they got all the tools they need, they got the abilities and almost spirituality, they, they're able to pull things off. Sometimes they're actually a magician. They are in the upright, so they got good intentions, and they're trying to avoid a tower situation, something negative, something that may uh, crumble down around them. So... They may be manifesting a positive situation. Remember, we had that sun card in the beginning to avoid a tower situation. And as you know, the tower, it's not a fun card. Even with positive cards around it, I, I kind of shy away from it because it's a shocking event. It's something that will leave you changed. But this is the why card. The tower is the why this is happening. You're becoming the magician because you're going to take care of a situation so you don't have a tower moment. Can I get another card for the magician and the tower card? 
you know, you're not offering anything outside the norm. You're not wanting to put yourself out there. It's something, this tower is not something you want because it's the Ace of Wands in reverse, but you have the ability to stop it. You know as an obstacle it will cause you heartbreak if you do not. What is coming towards you, Capricorn? Someone doesn't want to fight anymore. They're not going to battle. They're not going to compete with you. They're not going to, they're not wanting to. Or they may be just stuck in thinking about it with strife that they had with you. But I need another card to find out for sure. Many different meanings with this card. Five of Wands in reverse. Why are you there? Coming towards Capricorn. Someone want to come out of feeling trapped and stuck and don't want to fight with you. Could be the Princess of Cups. you got more than one person here. Definitely. Princess of Cups could be a water type energy. Someone taking on an energy. Pisces, Pisces Cancer, Scorpio. They're in reverse. Um, very emotional right now. Very upset. Uh, sometimes they get really depressed when they're in reverse. And they're, they want to come out of fighting and feeling trapped with you. So you're dealing with more than one person. So you may have someone coming towards you in mid-October wanting not to fight with you anymore. Not to want to block, be blocked out of your life. Let me have another card. With the Strife card in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse. Believe it or not, those two in reverse are actually good cards, but they're attached to the prince, Princess of Cups, which feels like they have no control, male or female. It doesn't matter. Even though the cards say Princess of Cups, it doesn't matter, male or female. Let me, let me get one more card for that. The Strife card... Eight of Swords, Princess of Cups, why are you there? Why is she coming towards you? Someone from the past, definitely, that you thought would not come back. Or, they, or they're thinking they would never even want to come back, but they're in the past they may, not, they may have thought that way. They may have thought things were long gone and over, but at the same time, they have regrets. Now, the outcome for Capricorn, you get a victory. It's a good card. You always want a good card as the, as the outcome. No matter what the others say, as the final outcome, you want a positive card. And it is a positive card, the victory card. It is the Six of Wands. It is a Jupiter card. It is a beautiful card. Six of Wands. Why are you there for Capricorn? What's going on here? Worried. You're, you're, you're gaining a victory over a worried situation. The Five of Pentacles could have to do with finances, being left out in the cold with that, feeling left out, feeling abandoned, feeling just yuck. But you get a victory over this. Ooh, Five of Cups. Yeah, you gain a victory over the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Pretty awesome. That's a strong person. This is a strong Capricorn, Capricorn individuals that are dealing with this. They're able to overcome and get victory over the Five of Pentacles, worry, and the Five of Cups, disappointment. It's a good card. Give me another uh, six, of, six of Wands, Five of, of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Why are you there? Can I get some more information? Four Capricorns who gain a victory over a negative situation. You leave it in the comments. Possibly what is occurring in your lives without getting too personal, but you are gaining a victory, Capricorn, over a controlling person, over something that was Queen of Cups in reverse again. Could have a lot to do with that Cups energy. Remember we talked about that earlier. You're gaining the victory, you're, and, and you're coming out of oppression. You're coming out of a burden. Things are being lifted off your shoulders. Worries are being lifted off your shoulders. And to sum this up, in the past, you got the Princess of Cups in reverse you because you wanted happiness and you wanted your, the good things to come to you. But something kind of turned you around. Something was getting in your way. The obstacle could be the, obstacle could be the, princess, the princess of Swords. That had to do with cruelty and depression and heartbreak and third parties and the Knight of Wands, which is known in reverse for doing third party situations. You yourself are deciding, I'm manifesting what I want. I'm no longer accepting tower situations and things that disturb my life. I'm no longer offering 
the wand or the olive branch to anyone else that doesn't deserve it. The, uh, what is coming towards you? Someone is definitely also wanting to come out of strife from the past. Like I said, could be a water type energy. At one time they were feeling trapped, but they're coming towards you. And they may say, let bygones be bygones, and you do gain a victory in the end over this abandonment issue, this disappointment you had that had a lot to do with someone who was controlling and out of control. And also there could be someone else attached, like, like the water type energy that was emotionally despondent. So you gain a victory. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're going to do it. And you're overcoming the burden of oppression, the Ten of Wands in reverse, removing it from you, removing oppression. This is, Some cards reverse are good cards. So this is your reading. Congratulations on whatever victory this is, but you're coming, you're able to, you're manifesting what you want, wanting. I'm trying to get these words out. You're manifesting what you're wanting, wanting. you're going to do it and gain your victory. Remember, you had the sunshine card coming towards you. And that is your reading, and I will be back before November. And I'm still dealing with the medical issues, and I have my new primary, which doesn't want me to jump into invasive surgery just yet. But we shall see. It, it keeps on changing. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.